I, I, I will be brief. A lot, of, a lot of what's very important about this bill has already been said. When you really do the research, though, sir, you realize a lot. You learn a lot about how these batteries are manufactured, about how the materials used in their manufacture have a tremendous impact on the areas where they're mined. I mean, Mr. Speaker, we're talking about tragic environmental impacts and terrible human rights violations in, this, in the countries where these materials are mined. You know, manganese miners report memory loss, they report slurred speech. Lithium, the largest collections of lithium are actually in Afghanistan, which is concerning in and of itself because the Chinese government has expressed an interest in working with the Taliban government to mine that. What could possibly go wrong when the Chinese and the Taliban get together? But perhaps most concerning, Mr. Speaker, is the mining of cobalt. Mr. Speaker, most mining of cobalt is done in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Over 200,000 people working in terrible, terrible, inhumane conditions. The U.S. Department of Labor estimates that 35,000 of them, sir, are children, some as young as six years old. Now, Mr. Speaker, we expressed just yesterday, overwhelmingly, that we as a state are not in favor of child labor. In fact, we passed a resolution yesterday stating just that. And we have an opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to make that same statement today right now. So with that, Mr. Speaker, the clerk is in possession of an amendment. The amendment is very simple. No person shall sell a battery or electric vehicle unless the battery certifies the origin of the raw materials, certifies that the vehicle results in zero net carbon emissions, and certifies that the material sourced in the production of the battery is not produced and sourced with child labor. And I would move adoption of the amendment, sir. And I ask that when the vote be taken, it be taken by Rolf. Um, my colleagues are quite right that there are human rights abuses. I need to point out, however, that according to the most recent report by UNICEF, the children living in the Democratic Republic of Convo, Congo suffer more from the effects of climate change than they actually do from the mines. And the problem with this bill, uh, this amendment rather, is that it would stifle the production of other kinds of batteries which all of us in this chamber and beyond rely on. So I would urge my colleagues to vote I against this amendment. Say. Thank you. The clerk will announce the tally. House amendment scheduled to be told number 148 necessary for adoption 75, those voting A, 52, those voting A, 96, absent on voting three. The amendment fails.